Hey guys, today's video is makeup with the worst packaging. Some of it I have, some of it I don't have. I'm just gonna put pictures up on the screen because some things I don't have and I just wanna keep it consistent. I wanna show some things and then not physically show other things. So it's just for consistency's sake, pictures are where we're going. I've spoken about a few of these recently with, it, it was my Milani video and my milk video, milk makeup, like trying full face of milk and trying full face of Milani. I was like, there's actually like quite a lot of stuff that I've tried or just seen on Trend Mood that I thought the packaging was just awful on. So I'm gonna get into all of that. Before we do that, my social media will be in the description along with my drama channel. Let's get into it. My first one is I recently did a Milani video and I think the Milani bronzer, blush and highlight packaging is really bad. It's super bulky. It breaks a lot of the time because it's like really cheap plastic but because it's so bulky it like smashes around and then it pops off really bad they give you like this really skinny brush that you would never use for bronzer or blush or highlight so i just don't see why they put it in there i understand like the appeal of a mirror but they could have just put the mirror in like the top bit of the packaging but it goes like opens like this and then where the bronzer is here this flap opens as well to have like a little container for brushes and mirror so there's like three compartments and i just think they could have stuck to a regular this instead of having three compartments uh so i think that packaging is just not that great i just wish they made it less bulky it's just so fat like i have nowhere to keep it right now because it's just taking up so much space then we have the same goes for physician's formula i had their bronzer blush and highlight i gave away the blush and the highlight because i just didn't really see the point of them they were kind of meh but the bronzer i really really love but they do the same thing as milani where they have three compartments they have the top bit and then they have the actual bronzer and then you put put up the bronzer and in that bottom compartment is a sponge brush which i threw away straight away because i saw it and i was like who applies powder bronzer with a flat sponge i don't understand it so i threw it away it gets really like broken it click clacks it's just really cheap packaging and i spoke about this in my milani video recently i did a full face of milani and i was like shaking the bronzer around and you could hear it all like rattling inside i think it's just really bad packaging and it makes your products look more cheap than they are and i think those are really good quality products and they if they just had slightly more sleek packaging they would look like high-end products and perform like high-end products but instead you have high-end performance with really low drugstore packaging and i just think they could really you know and they're not cheap brands either milani and physicians formula are both kind of on the high end of drugstore and i think they should just have better packaging that's just my opinion similar thing but a high-end brand benefit i've only ever bought the palettes that they have where they have like i think i was like 16 where they have a palette with like four blushes one bronzer one high some you know those like big christmas sets they used to have which are great because they're not as bulky and you can like dip your brush in there properly but their regular blushes with the huge cardboard box where like this is the cardboard box and only the bottom bit is the blush or the bronzer or the highlight you just like stick your brush in there who thought that was a good idea i would immediately depot that and put it into a magnetic palette because i just don't see the point i did that with my palette the benefit palette i depotted it and put it into like a flat magnetic palette because even the box is a little bit bulky i just think it's so unappealing like i just I don't see why I would ever buy that when I can just get a regular sleek blush that's probably going to perform similar. I just don't see how the packaging is appealing because it just takes so much space. Then we have any foundation without a pump or a squeezy tube. Um, if you have a glass bottle or any kind of bottle that you have to unscrew and pour onto your hand, no. We've gone way past the need for non-pump, non-squeezy tube foundations. I just don't see the point. I don't see the point where you don't have an applicator. Why is it just an open gaping hole that just foundation pours out of you? It's never super careful. You always spill too much. Uh, it makes me not want to buy a foundation, quite honestly. Like if you don't have a pump or a squeezy tube, I don't want to buy the foundation regardless of how good the formula is. If there's no applicator, which slowly dispenses foundation at a more like controllable pace, I don't want it because I know my clumsy self is going to pour the whole thing on my hand and like dip it too much. And I know every single time I'm gonna to put too much foundation, it's a waste of money and foundation to not have a pump or a squeezy tube or some kind of an applicator which controls how much product is dispensed. I feel like we've gone way past the need for spilly outy. Also, makeup brands that made you buy an extra pump for their foundation was usually high-end brands as well. MAC Studio Fix and Essay Lauder Double Wear foundation, they were expensive foundations they were about 25 pounds and i think 30 something pounds and they made you buy a pump separately and we all just fell for it i just think that's awful packaging anyway 
Also in the comment section, let me know if you agree with any of these and any other ideas that you have for like packaging that you've tried that you were just like, no, no ma'am, thank you so much. Like, I don't need this. Or if you agree or disagree with any of these, because I think some people also have different perspectives. Like what's bad packaging to me is going to be amazing packaging for someone else. You might really enjoy a pumpless foundation because you're like, I just want to pour it out onto a little tray. I don't want a pump. I just want to pour it out and that's it. And that might be the best packaging for you. So I'm always very curious how other people approach makeup packaging because to me, not having an applicator for my foundation just grinds my gears. Another thing with kind of like applicators, glosses that don't have a doe foot applicator and instead have those hairs. Why? Who has ever said that those hairs are better than a doe foot applicator? I have two ColourPop, two or three or four of those ColourPop lip glosses, the ones with the hairy applicator and they never apply enough product you're always swinging it around and it's leaving little streaks on your lips and you have to like blend it out with your finger i think it's awful application um i'm pretty sure kylie had those as well they never looked good the hairs fray sometimes if you put them in wrong i just think doe for applicator is so clean looking so just easy to use even a squeezy tube is better than one of those brushes it just frustrates me i don't know why i just feel so much anger when i see a lip gloss with a hairy hairy thing anyway cream products that you have to dip into so for example and i love all of these products i use them and i love the formula and the product enough to ignore the lack of hygiene around that application so these ones are ones that like i hate the packaging there really isn't a different way to do it so i accept it for what it is but i just wish there was another way to do it anything that is cream that you have to dip into i don't get this issue as much with my glossy stretch concealer i don't know why it seems to be okay but my fenty bronzer and blush there is so much like dust and pieces of like hair and fuzz stuck to it that i regularly have to like scrape the top layer of the blush and the bronzer off because it's just so gross like i'll dip my sponge into it and i'll go on my face and i'll have like a little piece of fluff just like stuck to my face because it just sticks to it and i know that there is literally no other way to make that packaging like that's just how it's supposed to be and how it has to be because it's not a liquid product it's a pressed like cream product but oh my god does it grind my gears to like open the packaging and see a bunch of fluff stuck to it oh it's just something about that does not work well with me. I'm just really angry whenever I do it, but the, but the product is so good that I'm just like, fine, fine, okay. And the products that are usually in that packaging are super emollient, super hydrating, dewy looking, so I love them, but it's just like, it's just not hygienic really, because your sponge is just floating around, you're dipping your sponge into it, dipping on your face, going back in, uh, you're transferring the fluff around, oh my god. But like, yeah, if there was another way to do it, that'd be great, but I know there isn't, so like, I'm just complaining for nothing, for the sake of, just for no reason. Then we have the Florence by Mills eyeshadow palette. When I saw this on Trend Mood, I was like, absolutely not. Like the waste of space, the empty space in the back is, mm -mm. the fact that it like disconnects, connects. I know it's supposed to be like a cool, like you have the whole eyeshadow palette and then you can like take segments with you to travel, but because there was just so much dead space, I'm like, you could have fit like multiple more shadows into there if you just wanted to. I don't know, I just don't really like the packaging of that palette just something about that irritates me the old i do understand that it was really cute and for the sake of like putting on your vanity absolutely but for storage purposes if you don't have a lot of storage if you're not a, if you're not a beauty guru or a makeup artist that has like a bunch of space for their makeup because you know you're obsessed with makeup if you're just a regular consumer the old two-faced heart cardboard blushes oh my god was that bulky why is it so bulky oh my god like that's just so much space for a blush like where did you even store that if you ever had that blush i would love to know where you stored it and if it was as much of an inconvenience as i can imagine it being because i can imagine that was like difficult because the way i have my organizers set up there is just n what not there's not enough space for them i'm sorry the blush compartment is full as it is i can fit maybe a few of those like skinny slim blushes in there but if you ask me to fit the Too faced one somewhere i'd tell you no i don't have any space for it i'm sorry and i have a huge collection i have a lot of storage but I have no space for those blushes. So no thank you, I'll pass. Even though they're so cute. I thought they were the most adorable thing when I first started watching Beauty Gurus and they all came out with these cardboard Too Faced blushes. And I was like, oh my God, it's so cute. But now thinking about it, like it's so not practical. Like so not practical that it just hurts my head. Anyway, I'm so dramatic in this video because I, I find packaging is one of those things that like makes or breaks a product for me. I know some people are very much like, if it's a good product, 
it's a good product but for me packaging is like half of the success so when i see really bad packaging i'm like this product had so much potential if the packaging was just a little bit better and sometimes you know bad packaging still makes me buy the product the fenty cream products are amazing the glossy stretch concealer is incredible but sometimes i'm like no no, it's just the pack. The product is not worth the hassle of using the packaging. Then recently I did the milk, full face of milk video. And since then I've been complaining. Every time I show you guys this product, I complain about the packaging. The milk skin tint. It's so bulky. The plastic is so thick that it just feels like a waste of plastic for the 0.5 fluid ounces that you get in there. It's bigger than some of my foundation bottles that I have. And those are one fluid ounce, if not more. This one is not even 0.5 fluid ounces and it's huge. It's like this big. I just don't understand why they needed to do that. And they're trying to do this whole like sustainable thing. And so I looked at it and I was like, this makes no sense. Cause there was just so much wasted packaging here. You could have literally put it into one of those Glossier, I know it's like a copying or another brand, but they could have figured out another way to do like the Glossier skin tint where it's just like this really like crappy packaging, but it's really small and doesn't waste a lot of space. And it's very much just like not a waste of plastic. This just seems too bulky and too wasteful for what Milk is trying to achieve. I feel like Milk seems like one of those like sustainable, eco-friendly brands. And then they came out with this and I was like, what all of this for 0.5 fluid ounces of product all of this anyway they also came out with the chalk and i bought one of those for a video because i was doing a full face and i was like ah, i'm pretty tempted to buy it and it seems super eco-friendly because they put it in this like foil thing like this cardboard thing that you're supposed to undo and then use the product and then undo it and use the product kind of like a burrito you know when you're eating a burrito and you like slowly peel off the foil bit by bit yeah that's how you're supposed to use the chalk but it came in plastic packaging that you're supposed to store it in why couldn't it just come completely covered in the cardboard and then you peel it open as you use it and then you don't have to put it into a plastic container? I just thought it was such a good idea to begin with. And then there's that plastic box. And I spoke about this in my milk video. I was like, why couldn't it just be in the cardboard? I don't understand. And then I also tried the loose powder. The formula itself, great, but I will have to cut the like little netting, the mesh thing, because absolutely no product was dispensed. I sat there for a while trying to dip into it. So I will be cutting the net because it does have like a little stopper so it won't escape even if I cut the net, which is great. I think, you know, like the Glossy Wilder also has a netting, but that one seemed to be looser. So it actually dispensed more product. With this one, like it didn't pick anything up. I don't understand. Anyways, so I'll be cutting the net. And I think a lot of the times the netting is not done right. Like with the Glossy Wilder one, it was done right. It, it works, it's functional. But any other time you have a netting on a loose powder, it just doesn't work. And I just think people need to stop doing it. Can we just have the holes? Just a hole so you can like shake the powder and it comes out. I don't understand why we need the netting. I really don't. Mm. Then I recently saw Pat McGrath released these lip glosses for Valentine's Day and they were in the shape of a heart, right? So you had the heart. I'll be showing pictures. I don't know why I'm trying to like actually functionally show you this. There's a heart and you kind of came at it from an angle, like the doe foot came out from an angle, which means you'll never really be able to get all the angles of lip gloss. Like usually with, with just a regular tube, you can like spin around and try and get as much out as possible and then like tip it over and scrape it clean i remember i finished multiple lip glosses where i could literally scrape it clean with this one there is really no way to scrape it clean it's also not a clear tube so you can't really see how much you're getting out and i feel like for how expensive pat mcgrath is you're trying to get like every last milliliter out of your makeup and the fact that it's such weird packaging means you can't really get everything out and i just don't think it's great packaging it's cute but i just don't think it's great packaging but the same thing goes for recently bite beauty released these heart shaped cream blushes and i just don't understand i just don't get it it's supposed to be like a squeezy tube i think but i'll have to actually see it in action that's why i'm just mentioning it here like towards the end of the video i'll have to see it in action because i just don't see how that's functional packaging unless unless it's like super soft packaging and you can really like squeeze it out sure the heart's kind of cute but if it's hard plastic it'll be very difficult to get out all of your makeup out of the box so yeah not the best packaging but that's going towards the end of the video because i'm not sure how it works it was literally just announced so just from like first impressions it doesn't look great but the first few yeah let me know what you think about these are these some of your favorite packaging do you agree do you disagree do you have any other ideas for this i might film a part two if you guys have enough ideas i did that with brands that fell off i had like a two-parter for that because you guys came up with so many great ideas so just let me know names of products and i'll check them out and i might do a part two of this so subscribe hit that bell like comment for engagement and i'll see you in my next one bye guys